Good morning. It's 11.06. This is my kind of morning. Get up at 10.40, not have to be in the school till 11.15. This is awesome. Yeah, so it rained all night, and now we're left with this. No more snow. It is 49 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like uh, 29 degrees above our average for this day in January. And that's uh, supposed to be 56 today. So, as you can see, I'm not even wearing a jacket or a long sleeve shirt. Alright, we're here, so I'm going to go take the uh, government final and I'll talk to you later. Alright, well that's good news. 165 questions later, the government exam is done. It wasn't really good, but it wasn't too bad. So, it is 54 degrees out here. <laughs> it's not even that cold. Uh, pretty much overcast, but yeah, it had rained all night. Apparently that's what got rid of most of the snow. I mean, you saw here yesterday, this was all snow, and now we've just got little pieces. But, uh... All the water's coming up, so that's not good. That guy's 240. Um, yesterday, a, um, a viewer, I'll we'll see your name's Bobby, sent me some information about that check control display in the M5. You know, the um, LCD panel below the gauges that tells me how many miles, temperature, you know, check coolant temperature, check rear lights, the, the check control display center. Those pixels burn out. I've showed you in the vlogs. Maybe it's been a while. Um, he said I could call BMW North America and they may cover some of the charges to replace it and it may only cost uh, like a hundred bucks of labor which I would gladly do considering all other options are gonna charge me five times that and I'd have to take it out myself but I'm not taking the instrument panel out of the car um, so now I'm trying to fax, oh I called BMW North America and they want me to scan proof of, I can't show you this myself obviously, but proof of ownership and registration well, that's kind of generic. I have a registration card, I have a registration certificate, and I have a title to the car. The title to the car is the best way to prove that I own it and where it lives here in Ohio. So I'm just going to fax all three. I actually can't fax them, so I'm scanning them to PDFs on this SD card so I can email them to my dad to scan them from work or fax them from work. Then they'll call me back in a few days and see if the BMW assistance program uh, can be put to use for me, and they would schedule an appointment at my local BMW center where I've been there before and uh, maybe we can get that fixed. So that's good news. So I'm just gonna scan this stuff, scan the memory card, and uh, send that to my dad today so he can fax it, and they'll call me back later. By the way, Bobby, thanks so much for sending that. I was just gonna let that go, and it's gradually getting worse, and it's gonna be the point where I can't even read the temperature, and that would suck. So this will be real nice if I can get it done. All right, I'm gonna stand right here and see if he backs it. No, probably not a good idea. <laughs> I will get wedged in between a Saturn and that. But uh, as you can see, we're over here at Panera, um, it's, it's a work in progress. However, I will say mine's a little wampus too. I'm all the way over there. That's that's a pretty poor park job. It's not acceptable. It doesn't meet standards here. Well, come on, Taylor. At least straighten out your wheels for frig's sake. Or is he going to take that spot? If he doesn't, I will. There we go. Much better. And uh, Taylor even straightened his out. Good of work, course. buddy. Thanks. Right. So uh, we, we've been studying for a while. And uh, now, now we're done, we're done. and uh, we're going to do good on our exam, right Taylor? Yeah. Let's see what you got for Christmas here on your, uh, your key ring. Nice. <laughs> Very nice, Taylor. What do you have to say for it? What the hell is that thing up there? It says Echo something New Jersey. Wow. There's a Nissan Quest, and there's that monstrous. All right. Yeah, here we go. Friggin' right. That is a lot of deer. Yeah, it is. They're making their way out of the neighborhood for sure. Yeah, they're enormous. Well, they did see Taylor just go by, so they have every right to be. 